Hello guys, once again welcome to Farming in Africa and today I'm very excited about this video because I have the opportunity to answer one of your biggest questions. We've been telling you guys to go into goat farming but your question is Fred, how much money do I need to start? How much is it going to cost me to build a pen? How much am I even going to buy the goats for? And therefore, what is my initial capital? This question has been a question that has been so hard and difficult for me to answer you guys because when I was building my pen, of course, I didn't think like that. But guess what? When we were asked to evacuate, and as you can see behind me, as we are building a new pen, I have specially dedicated one pen to answer this question. So that if you're a beginner watching me and you're thinking about starting a goat farm, you have all the answers and the numbers that you need to be able to start. So I have all the numbers here. And if you guys are excited about this, then stay tuned because today I'm going to walk you through a pen that we've intentionally dedicated for beginner gold farmers to use it as an experiment to train you guys. So stay tuned and I'll be right back with you. Welcome back guys and I'm glad you sticked around because as I said, I'm so excited about today's video. Not because I, I have any benefits to it, but because I know that it is a question that is so important to some of you, especially the beginners out there who wants to go into goat farming and therefore knowing me i'm just excited to help so I'm, I'm very excited to share with you guys because recently we were given the opportunity to actually rebuild our farm again and as i said when i built the old one i didn't think that people might want to know the cost and so on and so forth but now that i know that's important to you then it's important to me as well so as i have the opportunity to build this new farm then why not use that opportunity to serve you guys better so today we're going to be talking about all the numbers to actually agree on how much you need to invest to actually start a 40 goats right but before we go into the numbers let me talk to you about the design because this might change if you don't go by my design but at least it will give you a better idea right so i have built gold pens and in the past i've built different forms of gold pens currently i have actually come to a conclusion on a specific gold design and that is by what you're looking at usually you guys know that i like a raising pen so my pen is raised but the most interesting thing is that my pen is of a certain style and then I have also a space in front, which is an exercising yard before the goats go out for grazing, right? So this is the design that I have. If you guys want me to design your pen, just get in touch with us. I'm happy to design your entire farm for you, including the pen, the exercising yard, the grazing field, everything that you need in there. But based on this design, I'm going to walk you guys exactly through what we are doing. So, like I said, every pen of ours is going to have an exercising yard in front. This estimate and what we are talking about, this specific model is going to be for 40 goats. That means that as a beginner, if you're starting with about 40 goats, then this will be a perfect design to be able to serve your need. So, as you guys can see, the kind of materials that we are using here. Now, I'm standing in front of the exercising yard, but guess what? This becomes the pen right what is the size of the pen so this pen is actually 10 by 17 feet so that's 10 feet west to east and then 17 feet um, north to south that is the kind of pen that i'm using to hold 40 goats somebody might say fred that is very small yes it is small because the model or the design that i have the goats do not spend a lot of time in there and i've done this for about three years and have experimented it and tested it the goats only goes in there when it's dark and normally they will even go around like 10 11 pm and they go there just to go and sleep and because it's night and it's cold, they like to be closer to each other so that they can feel the heat of each other. So you don't need a very big pen for their sleeping yard, right? So you can keep 40 goats here comfortably without any harm and give them the heat that they need. 
The moment the sun is out, I promise you, all those ghosts will step down and they will come here and now lie here. If you have food here, this is where you feed them, right? And you can do your playing yard 20 feet by 20 feet as well. And that will be the exercising or playing yard. Now that we know the design, let's go back into the materials. And what did we use to actually build this design? So the 10 by 17 pen that you're seeing, we use boards. So board is exactly what you're seeing. So I'm gonna to walk towards the board and show you guys. So if you haven't done any construction before or doesn't know what a board is, so this is a board, right? And a board, we actually use 16 pieces of board and 16 pieces of board. It might vary depending on where you are, but here in the Eastern region, as you guys know, in Suhum, we are buying a board for 98 Ghana cities, right? So if you're using even the 10 city dollar rate, which I know is 12, then you're looking at about $9, um, you know, 9.8 cents um, dollars. And 16 pieces then brings our cost to 1,568, which is about 100 and ten hundred and twenty dollars right and that is the cost for you for the board we use 16 pieces then we use tick trees so what you see right in front of me is a tick tree but we have two types so we're using the long poles and these are the tick trees that are being used for electricity so they are treated and they are peeled right so when you get a normal tick tree mostly you still have the back around it these are peeled off and then are well treated to resist termites right even though we have that if you look at the bottom you can see that we've also put a plastic under it even to keep it to last longer right and that's what we're doing but the tick tree is going to last us very long some people prefer concrete i think this is much cheaper because with concrete you have to buy the cement the sand the labor in mixing it the iron rocks and so on and so forth i've done concrete before i've done normal tick before and i go buy a tick tree treated one you can go to your community i'm sure somebody sells that tree there and you can purchase some for the long tick tree that's what we actually use for the pillars so they're going all the way down up to the top of the um the roof and we use seven of those for this one cost us here in the eastern region 550 cities and therefore the total is 3850 again that's how much the poles cost us the um, seven poles you can see that not all the seven is going up some we actually had to cut them into pieces and just use them for the base of the structure then we move on to two by four so two by four is normally um, what you use on top of the roof aside the two by six we are also going to use some of the two by four here around the fence to hold the wire right so we also use um i think 30 pieces they cost about 45 cities um to in the market and the total was 1350 cities um i know this cost are in 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 cities we will be doing the conversion for you guys so that at the end you will see the total and you will have um the dollar rate and you can convert it to whatever rate that you want but mind you these prices are the eastern regions to home prices if you are in tamale if you're in nigeria kenya nairobi wherever you are the price might differ but at least it gives you some sense of idea how much we are buying this for then we're going to buy four bundles of nets so four bundles of nets basically to use it around the fence which is the exercising area and also to use it on top of the pen to give it some ventilation as well so we'll be using four um, bundles and one bundle is also 550, which is 2,200 Ghana cities for the net. Then the next item is obviously your roofing sheet. I think roofing sheet is what everybody is going to use. We're going to use 11 pieces. One piece of roofing sheet is 85 cities and bringing the total to 935 Ghana cities for the roofing sheet. Nails, of course, we have four inches and three inches. We are using four boxes of four inches, which is 75 Ghana cities, bringing that total to 300 cities. And then we are using three inches nails, three boxes, 75 cities, bringing the total again to 
225 CDs as well. Then the last thing is the two by six wood, which is basically what we use for the top bus before we use the two by four to cross it. We also use four by six at the bottom to actually divide it to make the building much stronger, right at the base of it so that when they step on it, or even me, when I want to go on top and I step on it, it's actually much, much, much stronger. So that's what we are also going to use. So bringing the construction of this cost to 14,342, 14,342. Mind you, this is hosting what? About 40 goats here in this pen. I haven't added the labor cost because you can negotiate with your carpenter once that you have this. Every carpenter charges different no matter where you were. So I will leave that up to you. You guys can negotiate whatever price that you agree on. You add it to 14,342 and that will give you your pen. Let's talk about goats, 40 goats. How much would you buy your 40 goats for? Depending on the area that you are. You can buy Avbot goats for 300 CDs, for 400 CDs, for 500 CDs. It depends on what you want. But let's use it as simple math. Even if you're doing 500 CDs, then buying 40 goats is going to be 20,000 Ghana CDs. But you don't need to start it if you don't have 20 Ghana CDs. If you have 10,000 Ghana CDs, then instead of 40, buy 20, start with 20. But at least the most important thing is now you have a structure and you know the kind of structure that you need to build in order to hold 40 gold. You can start with 20 and I bet you in one year time, you will be looking at about 80 gold. So you even need to expand your structure or sell some and keep only 40 in this structure. This is what we are doing. This is an exemplary um, pen and we are going to be working with this to show you guys what we are building here. Um, I hope this is helpful. Please let us know what other information that we are missing, what you need from us as we build this because we want to build this with you and we want to say a big thank you to all of you that have been donating and supporting us we'll build this farm your donations your kindness is much 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 appreciated and if you haven't and you have the opportunity to do please go to the link below farminginafrica.com donate and you can donate to this project we are building this with you guys and building this vision with you Thank you guys so much and I'm sure that the next time I'm actually going to bring you a video on how much money and how many goods you can actually gain after building this 40 goat structure. So stay tuned for more education videos and if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe because you don't want to miss the opportunity to build a new farm with us. I will see you in the next video.